Does it work? I want to sit higher.
Thank you so much. Boy, what, what a pleasure to be here at such a full house. Yay! <laughs> With this wonderful group of musicians. We are called Macumba, which is um, Portuguese for voodoo, witchcraft. We want to be witch you with um, Brazilian churinho, churinho churu, some samba, some forró. And as you can probably tell, I'm not from Brazil, neither from Louisiana. <laughs> I'm German, and we have a very international group here, and I want to immediately announce and introduce all of these wonderful musicians to you. So to my right is Michael Ward Bergman, Hello. representing the USA. <laughs> Obviously, we are all in New Orleans, and we love New Orleans, right? Otherwise, that's our common ground. And Shurinia. So to my left is Salvador Avila from Argentina. <laughs> and from Brazil, who keeps us real here on um, Pandero and drum set, is Felipe Leici. This first piece was a beautiful tune that's often, you know, the, the end of a set or of a concert, and um, it's called Noites Cariocas, which means nights in Rio. And was anybody in Brazil already, or is anybody from Brazil here? I hope so. Uh, no. Ah, at least one person. Brazilian? Nice. You can tell us later on if we did okay. <laughs> Yeah, so this music is traditionally played at um, horas, horas y shoro, which means like circles, you know, like jam sessions in cafes in, in Rio and other pl all, over the, all over the country and now all over the world, even though it's music that dates back to the you know, same era as ragtime in New Orleans, so it's 19 teens through 50s and um, even earlier. And it's very much alive all over the world nowadays, because it's just beautiful. <laughs> this next piece, or this first piece, was by Jacob do Bandolim, Jacob of the Mandolin, one of the premier composers and interpreters of this beautiful genre. And the next one is by the second most famous, or equally famous composer, Pichinginha, who is kind of the Bach of Shoro, great composer, flutist, and um, Saxophonist. And here is his piece, it's a machishi called Pagao, Pagan.
Nice. Whew. Let's just go right into the next one. Yeah. This is Um Shorinya. Shorinya, by the way, means little sigh, little cry. Even though the music seems to be so joyous, I also feel it always has like some sort of a melancholy side to it, which makes all good music good music, I feel, to just capture all the emotions there are. And this one is called Um Shorinya Pravusi, a little piece of Shoro, Shorinya for you, and it's by Severino Araujo, who was a wonderful virtuoso clarinetist. <laughs>
Thank you. Muito obrigada. <laughs> the joy of music making to me is always, you know, the, just the interplay of the musicians and the audience and um, being connected to everything there is, right? To the song and the people, the spirit. <coughs> it's palpable for me today. How about you, Michael? Amen! <laughs> <laughs> All right, this next piece is called Falta Me Você, which help me out there. I miss you, thank you. <laughs> A beautiful piece of longing. It's also by Jacob do Bandolini. Thank you. 
Are you guys having a good time? Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. <sighs> if you think that was a lot of notes, wait until you hear the next piece. <laughs> <laughs> this next piece is called Ispinia Chibacalao. I hope I was not butchering that, but it means the spine of a codfish. Michael, can you show the audience where the spine of the codfish might be? Not on your body, maybe. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I meant more <laughs> this, the sheep music. If you look at the sheep music, that's what I was referring to. It goes kind of, you know, up and down, all the 30-second notes or whatever that is, 64, 128. <laughs> it's um, by, by whom is it? Oh, it's also Severino Araujo, of course. He likes lots of notes, and I do, sometimes I do too. <laughs> May the force be with us. <laughs> <laughs>
So um, this next one is a more contemporary piece of Shurinya. It's actually more of a, well, it's a Bayal. The difference between Bayal and Foucault, maybe you know, it's very difficult to explain. But it's kind of, it has a feel of like the, uh, the northeast of Brazil. And this one is by the great Armeto Pasquale, who might have played in this room before, probably, because he loves to come to New Orleans. I haven't heard him yet. I really hope so sometime. Have you heard him? No. It's I have in Sao Paulo. You have in Sao Paulo. Dang. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Well, and? I, well, he plays his beard hair. That's what's amazing. <laughs> he plays he plays anything, I think, you know. He plays like the, the bathroom plunger or something. <laughs> so this one is called Bebe. Baby. Thank you. 
got a few more. Are you all visiting New Orleans, or do you live here? It's such a wonderful big crowd. I see a lot of familiar faces. A school class I hear. Oh, hi. <laughs> wonderful. Wh which school are you again from? Ben Franklin. Ben Franklin. Great. Any clarinetists in the house? All right, we talk later. <laughs> Any accordionists in the house? Yes, wonderful. Seven string guitar players, maybe? <laughs> you might have noticed there's an extra string, and um, also, there it is. <laughs> also, that's a reason why you don't hear really bass in solo, uh, in bass in choro tradition, traditionally. Um, because Salvador is providing all we need. And um, so very often you also have a cavequinho, which we don't have. It's this little ukulele-looking um, instrument. has different you know, types of strings and stuff. Or a mandolin called the bandolin, which is a little different than the regular mandolin. It has a different um, body. It's not like roundish. You can do all that research at home if you like. And um, the pandero, what Felipe plays, is kind of a tambourine, but also a slightly different, right? I mean, I think the cymbals are... Uh, what's different, Felipe? Uh, maybe it has a hole here. It has a hole. Here. For the thumb, I think, yeah. Uh -huh. Just this. And, and I think, the aren't the cymbals like shaped? Different, or you know, oh. it's all the same. In his hands, he makes everything sound good. Felipe <laughs> yeah. Lecce, Salvador Avila, Woo. Michael Wolbergman. And my, I always say my name is Susanna, but not. <laughs> it's Susanne is a German. <laughs> We got a few more for you, and if you, if you enjoy the music and you want to spread the word about this fairly new group, a few years now, um, we play tomorrow at the Spotty Cat at, from 2 till 6, and at least once, once a month there. And wherever you want to have us at your private party. <laughs> All right, enough advertising here. So this next one is Goes to Sinio. It's a samba show by Jacob Topandolin. Thank you. 
Do we have time for that? Yes? Oh, cool. Wonderful. This one um, is a favorite of, I think, of all of us. But um, it's a piece that got me and, and Salvador, too, initially into Chorinho because it's just such a beautiful, slower shore. It's called Vibra Sois, um, Vibrations. And guess by whom it is? Jacob Tobandolin. Once more. <laughs> Today the concert is heavy of um, tunes by him. Be precise. Thank you. 
Well, we have one more tune, and before we play that, um, thank you so much for coming. Thank you, uh, New Orleans Jazz Museum, for hosting us, for having us. Thank you, Travis, on the sound, and Danny, where is Danny? Always making everything good here. <laughs> and thank you all for um, your beautiful playing. Again, this is Michael Warburgman. <laughs> You can hear him a lot with Panorama. You can also check him out on on the webs with Yo-Yo Ma and other people that have, you know, some insignificant um, <laughs> meaning in the music world. And um, but you know his own compositions and all of his beautiful improvising. Michael. Thank you. How much do I owe you? No, <laughs> we'll talk about that later. And Salvador Avila. Uh, Beautiful, beautiful seven-string guitar player who is a, a vagabond and travels the world, picks up all sorts of wonderful sounds and feels and rhythms. And it's great to have him here for a, for a while, you know. Who knows where, where your road's going to take you, you know. You're always, always wondering. Nobody knows. <laughs> and uh, Felipe Leggi on, um, yeah, on Pandero and... Uh, Ram set um, also plays regularly all over the place, you know, with um, a lot on Frenchman Street with Christina Kamenis and uh, Mondays and Thursdays. Mondays, oh, there you go. That's Mondays and Thursdays. Yeah, check that out. And um, I play a lot of traditional jazz around town and um, Venezuelan waltzes. <laughs> and with this group again, we. Um, it's just such a pleasure to play this beautiful music with all of you. So we have one more left, and this is um, an homage to uh, Tom Jobim, which is one of the most famous names in Brazilian music when it comes to America, right? I mean, he really combined um, jazz and Brazilian feels and um, really brought that genre out. And this is called Un Tom Pra Jobim. It's kind of a play, a, a short of for Jobim Un Tom. Not a, you know. Um, and it's by the great Sivuka, who is an accordionist, yeah. beautiful player and composer. And uh, it's from the northeast of Brazil. Un Tom Pra Jobim. <laughs>
Thank you. 